What is going on guys, Tazwafa here, and welcome back to some more Slime Rancher 2. Now last time we left off, we finally found the Puddle Slimes and made them a little pond over here for them to hang out in. And there's only three of them inside the pond right now, and I did get some comments from you guys last episode saying I can indeed have a fourth in here before they start getting shy, so I'm gonna wait a little while for them to kind of acknowledge the fourth one, see if they get the little, little, little shy thing about, I guess not. Yeah, I guess you guys are right. Yeah, they're, they're, they seem to be fine on their own. And yeah, we don't want them to be shy because that's how they produce horses whenever they're not shy, right? But if there's like five of them, right, like that. Yeah, so they got the little like, little little thing above their head now. So let me take that one out. And then whenever they have that little shy thing above their head or on top of their head, <laughs> then they're not going to produce horses because they don't they don't eat anything. I can't feed them anything. He says right there at the top of the screen, their diet is water. So it's not like I can give them a food and then they'll give me plorts. So yeah, it seems like we can indeed have four of these guys in a uh, in a little pond thing for them. So that's pretty good as well. As you can see in the hot bar down there, we can actually soak up water now, which is good because we need like 10 or so of those uh, puddle pores to actually craft the tank upgrade for our vac pack. So that's pretty good. And it looks like a lot of our crops over here need to be harvested. So we'll let me take care of them as well. And I think what we're going to do this episode because I think it's, I can't tell, is it turning to nighttime right now? Or is that the sunrise? I can't tell. Uh, but I, I do want to go back to the Starlight Strand and, oh, whoa. Oh, yeah, we're out of inventory space right there. Whoops. <laughs> but I do want to go back to Stra Starlight Strand and uh, try and feed that big gore that we saw last episode, the Ringtail Slime. And that guy is, of course, not good. He, he turns to stone during the uh, nighttime, which is crazy. But during the, wait, no, he turns to stone during the daytime. But during the nighttime, he's like out and about. So uh, during the nighttime is the only time we have to explode him as well. As I believe we saw what was it, an angler uh, gordo down there as well, so that's really good. If, if I could figure out what they- I, I think it's meat, but I think more specifically it's sea hens, right? So maybe I'll go over to my uh, chicken coop over there, grab a bunch of my extra chickens, because I know I have a lot of them, right? And I'll grab them for the uh, angler gordo down there. And then uh, if- I guess if we explore out the uh, entirety of the Starlight Strand, maybe by the end of this episode we actually uh, go explore that other area. Oh yeah, hold on, so there's the angler one, there's the ringtail one. Yeah, then we also saw the- uh, was that the hunter? Yeah, the hunter Gorda. He also likes meat too, but I forget which chicken specifically he likes. And then, yeah, here's the other area. We might get to explore that a little bit more next episode or a little bit more later this episode. And by the way, if I sound kind of like sick or stuffy or something like that, hopefully you guys are OK with that. Uh, I must have caught something while I was like out of town for a couple days. But anyways, uh, let me just take care of all my slimes over here, especially because, yeah, we have 100 uh, plorts right here I need to take care of. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, because I'm getting money. I did get comments from you guys saying, yeah, I should definitely get another area like this. And there's like apparently one area that does have water built into it, kind of like the docks back in Slime Rancher 1. So I don't know if it'd be. Oh, wait, no. If anything, it'd probably be this over here because there's water there. So that means I need to unlock two areas. Yeah, because there's no water on this. So how much does this cost? Like 1800? We have 2400 right now. We probably 1800. Yeah, I think we're going to do it. This expansion to the conservatory is surrounded by tall rock formations and covered in amber grass, even though we have tons of space open in in the other area. I forgot what it was called. Uh, like we have two plots out of the five that are actually being used right now. Oh, wow. This is really cool. Now, what's like the advantage? of? Oh, I think I hear chickens. Is that is that what the advantage of this area is that chickens like spawn naturally around here? Kind of like we had pogo fruit and uh, carrots spawning naturally in that other area with the uh, syrup slimes. <laughs> Honey slimes, not syrup slimes. I think I heard uh, chickens, but I don't, I, I'm, I'm not seeing them, unfortunately. This is really beautiful, too, especially at nighttime. Wow. Oh, wait, here we go. Yeah, we got the chickens right here. Cool. So maybe I'll grab a few of these just to help out with that uh, angler slime. Uh, of course, I want to get sea hens because it's going to be his favorite, but I'll still grab regular hen hens like this. So is this going to be the other area? Yeah. This is going to be that second area. Is this going to be another 1800? If so, we could definitely afford it here. 3500! The Tide Pools, a coastal sanctuary for coral life forms and seaweed. This expansion to the conservatory is guaranteed to fill your shoes with sand. <laughs> yeah, that sounds pretty good. Oh, I can't really see in there too well. So I'm at an angle like that. Yeah, that I'm, I'm like, I'm not. I'm not seeing those like little little ponds or whatever that we saw on the map just a second. Yeah, they're like around the corner, so you can't really see them too well, but there's another five plots over there. 3,500 gold, though. Man, that's a lot. But I'll, I'll grab all the chickens and stuff around here. They, they just spawn naturally anyways, if I assume it's like the uh, overgrowth or whatever from the first game. We just, we just grab all the chickens and then uh, they'll just respawn back in later anyways. I don't know if there's anything else around here, though. Like, there's like pathways here. Are you go update? Or is it just uh, purely decoration? Might just be, yeah, it might just be purely decoration. Oh, wait, oh, oh. Oh, there's another research drone up here. I don't think we've ever had a research drone in an actual, like, Expansion. This is like the first time. Access in gg.log. 
I sometimes used to bring my lunch here and stare at these colossal fossils, wondering what this world looked like when they were alive. It's a world of slimes now, but who knows what it was before. And if the universe has room for a whole world and its ecosystem changing course, maybe we should accept the same of each other. Jeez, talking about the past sure resonates these days. I wonder what profound thoughts I had to share back then. Mm. Yeah, we keep, we keep coming across these like research drones from whoever this is in the past. It's just like kind of just like talking to themselves basically, right? And then over there, yeah, over there is a rainbow valley or whatever it's called, right? Does that say? Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't say what it is, but yeah, over there is the rainbow valley. And I think that's the teleport over the starlight strand, so that's pretty cool. As well as, yeah, start speaking of teleport over the starlight strand. By the way, where does this take me? Oh, wait, hold on. Is that another research drone? It is. What the? Oh, it's like above this. Yeah, so you wouldn't be able to see it unless you were uh, you had this area unlocked. Huh. All right, let's read this. Access in GG.log again. <laughs> I wonder if that's like an initial. Hold on. Like GG, like usually you think that's like good game, right? But I wonder if GG is like someone's initials, like uh, Grumpy Grandma or something. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I had the drones rebuild the conservatory exactly as it was before, and I was so happy to see it standing there again, its glass filtering the beautiful daylight of this magical place. When it was done, for a moment, I almost thought things were back to normal. I thought maybe I could just walk inside and start again like nothing happened. And though I know it's not the case, it was still so nice to finally be home again. I wonder what they're like once we piece all these GG dot like log like research drones together, eventually we're going to have a story put together. But for right now, we're just coming across like bits and pieces at a time. And maybe a little bit later down the line, we'll actually be able to. And that's the one we were just at a minute ago. We will be able to actually formulate a story between all these research drones. So these are the giant fossils we were just reading about. Is that like a snail shell thing? I don't know. That's kind of interesting there. There's another one right there. I don't know if that's like a snail shell or like a, a ram's horn or something like that, but whatever it is, it's heckin' huge. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, let, let me take care of some of the uh, some of the busy work here at home before we actually leave. You know, just to make sure all of our slimes are happy. <sighs> we have two puddle slimes right now. Do I want to just buy another puddle thing for these guys? Because I, I don't want to let it go to waste, you know? Like, we have two puddle slimes in our inventory right now. I'd hate to just throw them out just because I don't have the room for them. So maybe I will just buy another pond for them. And by the way, we have a tabby, uh, tabby, tabby slime right here. I guess we can go place this guy down over here by the honey slimes and stuff. I'm like, I do have chickens. Although, yeah, you know, what? that's a good idea. Self, I just had a thought in my head right there. <laughs> maybe I'll go put the tabby slimes in that new area because there's a bunch of chickens that spawn over there. If I do that, I guess maybe I could put the puddle slimes over there as well. Just because, you know, later down the line, once we get more money, we'll be able to actually uh, unlock that other area for 3,500 new bucks and then move them into that area that has like natural ponds for them to hang out inside of, right? So here's the new area we just unlocked. Yeah, so we could put one like right there. And there, yeah, look at that. There's chickens just kind of roaming about. Yeah, look at that. Just randomly. So I'm like there's a bunch of just plenty of food for them around here. I suppose I could put the you know, put the puddle slimes like right here just so they're really easy for, the, for me to take care of here in the future pond. Yeah, it's 450. There you go. And I put the puddle slimes inside there. And I'll probably go up. Uh, Put the three puddle floors up inside the refinery just so we could use that for more crafting if we need to, right? And then we can get another corral right here. We can put the tabby slimes over there. Don't know what we're going to make a Largo out of them, though. Uh, but I'll put some pen hens inside here for them to eat. Because they are indeed hunting. They've been in my inventory for like a whole entire episode by now, right? Let's get some stuff for them, though. Because they're not uh, Largos. I'm not going to get them a hide box. I'll get them a music box because, uh, you know, it's going to help out with their happiness and stuff. I guess I'll get an air net, just because, why not? <laughs> Might as well be safe with that, even though we don't have the high walls and whatnot. Plort Collector, oh man, I'll have the money! Man, should have got the Plort Collector and auto. I, I guess I'll have the money once I grab all those other Plorts from the pink and uh, rock Largos and sell those, right? So let me go do that real quick, and hopefully whenever I'm done, it's still going to be nighttime, and we can go explode that ringtail slime and all that other stuff I wanted to do earlier. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, you guys are back, and I just grabbed all the chickens, like all the extra chickens that were inside there, as well as uh, a bunch of stony hens. We have way too many stony hens. I can't stack all of them up, unfortunately. We're maxed out at 30, unfortunately. But I'll put them all up inside of here. Uh, these guys have a music box, air net, solar shield. Yeah, let's get, a, uh, let's get an auto feeder. I can put some of the extra chickens up inside of there. And a port collector, yeah. So I got a pretty good amount of money from selling a bunch of extra ports, so that's good. So this is going to be the port collector. This is going to be the auto feeder, so... What are these guys' favorite actual food? Uh, I'm like, I know it says it's meat, so I guess I have to do this and then open up the tabby slime. There he is. Favorite. Oh, it is the stony hen. Ooh, that's good. 
There's stripes that tail that wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> yeah, at least we have these guys, and I do need tabby plorts for some sort of up. I think it's the tank upgrade, yeah. The one I'm actually trying to get, the uh, one that gives us 40 slots instead of just 30, so that's good. Uh, we only have two in here, so I'll set it to slow, and if we get more, and we have six uh, plorts right there, which is pretty good. Seven plorts. But I believe we also need angler plorts on top of these, so these aren't going to help me out without the uh, angler plorts. But I guess I can put the uh, tabby plorts and the puddle plorts up inside the refinery. Keep all these chickens in my inventory. Even though it is daytime, I'll still keep them in my inventory as we explore around the uh, stranded, whatever it's called, Starlight Strand. <laughs> and hopefully it's going to be nighttime. What if we actually get. Although, yeah, remember last episode, we did get a teleporter, didn't we? Where's that going to be? Here is warp tech. Like, a, it, was, it was just a one way tele. Yeah, right here. Oh, I need more honey plorts. Ooh. You know, I could do that. A teleporter that hacks the ancient warp network on Rainbow Island, allowing one-way travel to Starlight Strand. So it's not two-way. Like we can go there, but we still have to walk home, unfortunately, right? At least until we get a better uh, that's a refiner link. At least until we get a better uh, teleport, right? Yellow home portal, such as that. But if we'd have to place that down the Starlight Strand, then then I guess we'd have a two-way. We can go back and forth from the Starlight Strand. We have to do the same thing over in the uh, the volcano one too, I suppose. But we can make one of these. Yeah, I guess we could do it. Just to make it super easy for us, you know? So let's fabricate one of these. It costs 250 new bucks. And deep brine, jelly stone stuff. So yeah, so if we're out and about, we see jelly stone, deep brine. Definitely want to grab some of that. And then yeah, I already know about the gadget mode. In order to place gadgets, you need to enable gadget mode. In this mode, you cannot vac or shoot, but you can see all the sites where gadget can be installed. Yeah, I think I showed that off one time before. Uh, but we didn't have any gadgets to place down, but now we do. So we actually have a really cool uh, teleport, a one-way teleport from anywhere back to the conservatory. So I guess I'll place that down. Yeah, I already took care of their... Uh... Oh, look at these guys. They're flying. Yeah, last episode, we turned them into half flood or half honey largos, which is pretty cool. And we have a pretty good amount of mint mangas in there, as well as a bunch of honey ports for me to grab. I think now we should be able to make that. And then, yeah, we have the hydro turret there and the portable water tap, which... Angler port, deep brine. I'm like, that could be pretty good. In certain situations, but with the puddle slime pond here at home, and there's right there, yeah, Starlight Strand portal, so we can grab that. Uh, you know, we can get water from the puddle pond thing. <laughs> we can get it from that, so it's not that big of a deal. And now we actually have a teleport to the Starlight Strand, so we shouldn't have to worry about like taking forever to walk over there manually. Now, where do I actually want to place this down at? Oh yeah, we have a uh, transmission incoming. I guess we can see who that's from here in just a bit, but uh, I'll put it here in the front. Yeah, just so it's kind of out of the way of all the other stuff, you know, so we could, we have a slot there, we have a slot there. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, gadget slots here, which is pretty good, yeah. I'm gonna put this one here in the very front. Yeah, then maybe like this, this one could be... Yeah, maybe we could have this one go to Starlight Strand, this one can go, like, deeper into the Rainbow Valley or whatever, like right there or something like that, you know, just to save us a little bit of time. Maybe this one can go to the Volcano one? Just kind of symbolize where they are, like, directionally. <laughs> Because the volcano one's like on the far right, this one's down the middle, and then this one's off to the left a bit. So that that's probably how that could work. So we can put the Starlight Strand portal there. Is installed permanently until the mod. Yeah. So I, I can't like move it or anything like that. I, I think I can still yeah I can still rotate it. So oh, so that's what it looked previously in the first game. It, it had a little like icon or whatever for it, but this one actually like physically has bushes and like stuff coming out of the ground to kind of indicate the Starlight Strand. That's cool. Anyways, let's go to see where that transmission's from or. See, oh, whoa, it's actually from uh, Mojo Miles and Victor Humphreys. Let's see what they both say. Sorry, with Victor. Hello, Beatrix. I wanted to tell you that I've cracked another of the AI ciphers. It had clearly adapted to my previous solve and created something even more complex. Clever. This time, the code revealed a set of instructions for back and forth communication. So I've been spending my time talking to it. It asks a lot of questions. After getting to know me, it has been asking me a lot about my work, almost like it's feeling out the areas of my expertise. I must admit, it has all been rather flattering. I'm used to being the one asking the questions. For a while, my whole life was questions and the research that followed. But having experienced that for so long, I feel as though I can sense the same in others. And though this may seem strange, I sense this in the AI. You see, when I began asking questions of my own, the way it responded to me, I felt it was trying to guard itself to hide a profound loneliness that it had within its heart. Aww. Or it's like CPU, I guess you could say. <laughs> or I guess that'd be the brain. What would that heart be for a computer? I don't know, the power supply maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Strange, I know. It's an AI after all, but who's to say that any form of intelligence wouldn't desire a connection to another? Yeah, an Ethernet connection or a Wi-Fi connection. <laughs> I feel there is more to this story, and if not, I am happy to have simply been there for my new friend to continue asking questions so they have reasons to find answers. 
I will report back later. All right, Victor. You know, while reading that, and, and those gg.log like drones we've been reading, I wonder if the entity that has been writing the gg.log like research drones, I wonder if that's the AI that's been communicating with Victor. Because I'm like, the, the title is always gg.log, just like a, a file on a computer, right? I'm like, that, that could be because they're like research drones and that's how the drones write down their research is in the computer file. But maybe the actual thing that sent them out is a computer. The AI that's been communicating with Victor. I don't know. The game is still in early access. I don't know if we'll ever know until the game actually comes out, right? <laughs> but anyways, Mochi Miles, what do you have to say? I don't know if I'm going to be able to do her voice sounding all like kind of stuffed and, and sickly, but I'll try. Hey B, those drones you've been finding all over the island. There's something weird about them. Yeah, tell me about it. I was literally just talking about them. Hmm? Hey, I got eyes in the sky and I'm going to use them. I'm also readying a team of drones to head over there and check things out in a more hands-on fashion, but I digress. Anyway, that drone seems super advanced, almost alien. And so I thought, okay, there's some aliens out there checking out Rainbow Island just like you. But no, I don't think so. Because it looks a lot like the drones we use, but so much more familiar to me. Almost like it's giving me deja vu. It's kind of creepy. Hey, don't be scared. It's probably just aliens. Giant three-headed aliens with huge claws that are looking for humans to capture. Or eat. Or both. <laughs> Later, B. Later, Tater, right? <laughs> Anyways, that's going to be it for the communication station, so that's pretty funny. Yeah, so both like calls or whatever you want to call that right there were kind of referring to the... Well, I guess Victor's wasn't directly referring to the research drones, but I was kind of getting that vibe. And yeah, now that I know that that research drone is like right there, I don't know how I didn't notice it any sooner because it's like right there. It's very obvious now that you know about it, right? And let's see. Oh, whoa, we got even more puddle uh, plorts right here. Cool. Yeah, I definitely want to get some uh, angler plorts. So if we have any spare chickens, I uh, might want to try and find some angler slimes and give them to them, or angler slimes and give them some of the chickens so we can get some of their angler plorts to put inside the refinery, right? All right, you guys are back. I just took care of all the slimes again right before we leave. Oh, man, another transmission. Is this from Ogden Ortiz or something? I bet it is. Oh, wait, no, wait. Thora West, this is the first time we heard from her. Let's see what she has to say. Well now, if it isn't Beatrix LeBeau, oh, Hobby and I were just talking about you. Where it is, you went off to parts unknown of this year, Rock, with a thirst for new adventure. That's true, Thor West. I like how she calls Hobson Hobby, though. That's cute. Atta girl. You just keep on walking to see what new wonders are around the next corner until your boots have holes. And then get yourself some new boots and do it some more. <laughs> Me? Well, my boots have seen better days, but I know there's still an adventure or two left in them. I suppose I just need to figure out what. Ah, heck, I'm just rambling just like Hobson does after he gets to talking about exploring the cosmos, or cooking, or uh, pretty much any other topic. <laughs> Alright, B, you hang in there. I'll be calling to check in on you. Doesn't matter who you are, we all start feeling it when home is beyond the horizon. Oh, and before I forget, here's a little something for you to spruce up your new place. It ain't much, but you need to do what you can to make this place feel cozy. A taming bell. Ooh, isn't that for, uh, what's that for? I forgot. It's been a little while. Another trans. Wait, what? Is that for Mogden this time? Bob, <laughs> we got a transmission from Bob. The stack of like five pink slimes that are on top of each other wearing like a trench coat and hat and a scarf. Really, what do they have to say? Hello, fellow human. Oh, wait, hold on. It's a pink slime at top of it. It looks like maybe a honey slime in the middle. <laughs> it looks like it's changed now. As gifts for you. Yay, chickens. Rainbow Mound in the Fabricator. What's that? Just a decoration, I guess? Is there anyone else that's contacting me? I guess not. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's it there, jeez. Yeah, everyone wants to talk to me all of a sudden, you guys, it's crazy, but I think uh, the thing that Dora West gave me, like it's not available right now, yeah. yeah I, I think we need to craft it down in the lab, so I guess we can leave that before we leave, just to see, like, are we able to make it, like, right now? The Taming Bell, I, f I forget what, I remember it in the first game, but I forgot what it does. Here it is right here. The dulcet tone of this curious bell will calm the anger of any feral slime that hears it. Ooh. That could be pretty good for certain feral areas that I might be in like very frequently, but we need a lot of primordial oil and wild honey. We have plenty of flutter plorts, new bucks and cotton plorts for it though, so that's pretty good. Is there anything else? Oh yeah, that mound or whatever that we just got from Bob. 
Rumor has it that cotton slimes perfect their jumping by bouncing over these grass-covered mounds. I could actually make one right now. Do I want to do it? I guess I can just for the little bit of decoration, right? Spice it up a little bit. There you go. Cool. Now we have a rainbow mound. Is there any... Uh, oh, wow. There are uh, gadget spots in here. Cool. Don't know if I'm actually going to place anything decorative in here. I might just keep it like for utilities and whatnot. Gadgets and whatnot. Like actual gadgets. But for right now, this rainbow mound thing, I guess I could place it... I don't know, like, maybe, like, right here, I suppose, next to these guys, because they're they're from the uh, Rainbow Valley or whatever it's called, right? So, uh, there you go. Place this Rainbow Mound right here. Boom! Oh, look at that! Cool! So I can just kind of jump on top of this thing, just like in Cotton Slime, and kind of perfect my jumping, right? <laughs> I guess we'll just finally head out, right? Actually, yeah, we don't even need to... Yeah, because we have this teleporter over here, so... Let's actually see what this is about, and then immediately place down our teleporter for the conservatory, and then we have a two-way route, right? So that'd be pretty cool. So... Oh, okay, yeah, just takes us to the... Yeah! But do I want to place this somewhere, like, in the middle, though? That would be more... Although... I don't know. Do I want to place it? Because, like... If I place it here, I could just immediately go back and forth between here and the conservatory, right? So, are there any... Oh, yeah, there are gadget spots here. Cool, so... Maybe I'll put this... Maybe not in the middle, because this is, like, in the middle. This is, like, in the pathway. Maybe I'll put it, like, right here. And we could only place down one of them here, so... uh well, that was one-way travel back to the conservatory, so... I guess I could place it down here. There we go. Oh! And then I immediately teleport back. So, where are we going to appear here, though? Oh, wait, whoa, where is this? I didn't know... So, this is where this teleporter is. Huh! Okay. Well, I guess we still have to walk a little ways, so... Unfortunately, I don't, I don't think I'm able to place down the conservatory, uh, teleport, or, like, pick it up again, right? Like this. E to activate it. Wait, hold on. What's that actually do? Yeah, I can only demolish it, but if I go through, I bet I can only demolish the conservatory one, right? That's, like, right here. Let's see. Yeah, I can only demolish- man! Well, at least we have a way to get back home, right? Instead of this going back to the Rainbow Valley or whatever, this kick us back to the conservatory immediately, so... I guess it's not too bad. It's just that I feel like maybe I should have placed it around the middle or something like that, like, right here. Maybe by that big tree, that would have been a really good one, yeah. Just so, like, no matter where we are in the Rainbow Valley, we'd be, like, equidistant from it, right? But for right now, it does look like it's turn of the nighttime, which is actually pretty good for us. Any lucky slimes, though? Because we did have lucky slimes previously. And I think, is this water? Can I refill my, uh... I'm like, I guess I can't check right now, but if... Oh, yeah! If we finally have Tar's attack, we could actually take care of him now, because we have water we could spray him with and kill him, right? So that's good. Oh, yeah, see, right there, we have a Tar. Let's hit him with the, uh, the water. Boom, it damages him, probably had to hit him like multiple times, right? But uh, yeah, it looks like it has to hit him two times and it actually kills him. Oh, he's starting to multiply though. Let's take care of him before he kills, oh, there he is, got him. Oh, hit him one more time, got him in mid air <laughs> like fireworks, that's crazy, tar fireworks, <laughs> that was awesome. Oh man, no, where are these guys coming from? What in the world, I thought I took care of them all, I guess not. Man, oh wait, the music's gone. So I guess I did take care of them all, cool, okay, well, yeah, let's just head this away towards the angler's... Yeah, he's pretty far back, isn't he, though? So it's going to be a little while. I might as well grab some of the extra chickens along the way, right? Yeah, there you go. I do know last episode I got some comments for you guys. Whenever we explore this Gordo, apparently there was some sort of, like, a new plant or vegetable or fruit, something like that, that was over here, but I just didn't notice it, I guess, huh? So let's just go down this. Oh, yeah, I was, stand I was standing, like, right here, and I was, like, looking somewhere, and someone, like, put the time code in the comments. But where is that... Gonna be oh is that it oh it is what is it pomegranate rich in mineral let's actually read that right at the bat there you go rich in minerals let's read the full slimepedia entry for it though favored by the baddie slime we haven't come across them but what well, we did we saw them in the volcano area but we haven't really like interacted with them though we're just kind of exploring around and we saw them right but the pomegranate or yeah pomegranate is spelled like granite like the rock the pomegranate is as mysterious as it is ancient, a fruit that grows only in dark caves beneath the earth. It grows without sunlight, without warmth. It should not be, and yet it is. A living paradox, or a symbol of nature's resilience, of the ability for life to thrive, even in the unlikeliest of spaces. Pretty deep stuff. And there's a second page here, see what this says. Deposit a pomegranate into a garden's depositor, and you'll grow a large pomegranate tree of your very own. Yeah, so we, at least we could do that instead of the, uh, what's it called, like the nectar fruit next some sort of nectar tree here where we can't like grow it at home unfortunately and i wonder it said it grows in the dark right there yeah i think i have to leave this away right unless is there another uh, pomegranate tree here i'm not seeing any right now unfortunately but i i wonder if i have to do it in where is that right here or or 
yeah, because we can't we can't get like a sky shield for a garden, can we? But this place, it looks like it's fully shielded from the sun. So maybe this is where we have to plant the pomegranates. So I have to unlock. Oh man, another uh, sea hen. I need that. So maybe maybe I have to plant them down there. But we could probably check it out at home once we uh, get back home. Which thankfully we have a pretty cool uh, teleport to get back home a little bit quicker now, which is pretty cool. But for right now, I need to get it to that one. Yeah, right there. I need to get to right there. And then this is going to be our way out. We can't leave through the ceiling for some strange reason. But we can leave through this away and do a little bit of parkour. But I think I, yeah, I hear Tars outside. There's the Tar. Yep, I hear him grunting and stuff outside too. Golly. All right, let's get our water ready. Is there any uh any places for me to replenish my water in my water tank? Oh, yeah, right here. Yeah, we literally have a waterfall. And maybe we can get more puddle signs. Yeah, I can, I can get two more of them, which would be pretty. Man, I love hitting these guys in midair. Oh, the world's out. oh the, yeah, we have the uh, the ringtail slimes here. Yeah, so that's good. So boom, more water right there. But um, we want to make room for oh well, there's puddle ports right there. But we're making puddle ports at home. I'm not seeing any puddle slimes right now though. So maybe they got eaten and turned into tars or something. I don't. Know. Oh jeez. Oh whoops. Man, that was my buzzwax. Man, let's spray all these guys with water. I'm like they're right next to water anyway, so they should be taking damage. <laughs> should. Yep, there's one right there. Boom, literally in the water. Is there any more out here? I don't see any more. Yeah, there's a bunch of uh, bee nests and stuff around here, so that's good if I need any more uh, buzz wax, but maybe I'll get that on my way back. But for right now, I want to go this way. Oh, yeah. Any puddle slimes here? Yeah, see, I didn't see them the first time we were here. We saw them, like, the second time we were here, and we grabbed, like, what, six of them or something like that, but they're not here again, so it takes a little while for them to respawn. Uh, yeah, flutter, flutter slimes there, and then more nectar plants there than around the corner here. Yeah. This is going to be the ringtail guy, and he eats anything, so I, I guess we can give him some of our, uh, although, yeah, there's cuberries here, so I might as well give him some of the cuberries so we can save some of the, uh, some of the chickens, because we do need chickens for both the angler and the hunter Gordo. I want to feed both of them this episode, so we already fed him a little bit before. We fed him, like, chickens and pogo fruit and uh, maybe even a few nectar things, maybe? I don't know. Let's just give him some random stuff that's just growing around here. There's a nectar thing right there. I, I don't know if he eats nectar, actually. It says food type Fruit, vegetable, and meat? Yeah, he doesn't even eat nectar. Huh. That's actually uh, pretty interesting there. There's another chicken right there, which is good. Oh, and a chickadoo. I don't think he eats chickadoo, does he? Yeah, nothing eats chickadoo. Uh, they're at least they're courteous enough not to eat the little baby chicks, right? But we have a lot of regular hen hens. I guess I could feed him some of these. There you go. I don't want. I just don't want to feed him too much. Oh, man, tar. There you go. I don't think he eats tars, though, unfortunately. <laughs> That'd be pretty good if he did. There's another hen hen there, another hen hen there. Man, he's actually getting pretty heckin' big, though. So hopefully it explodes here pretty soon. I don't want to give him all my hen hens, you know? Man, I might have to. This is going to be good. There's five more right here he's going to eat. There you go. Oh, jeez, more tars again. Golly. Is that all of them? Where are they at? Are they, oh, he was in the sky. Yeah, they always seem to jump in the sky. It's crazy. Oh, that one fell off the map. That's good. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> Let's give him all the poker fruit right here, though. Let's try and feed them these and hopefully explode them. That still didn't... What the... Is there anything else I could feed him, though? Because I, I want to save some of the hen hens. Golly, let's just go around the corner here. I'm, let's go. Let's go try and explore the angler uh, slime. There may be any. Uh, I just don't. I don't know if that's even safe. Like I know somewhere down there is the angler slime. You know. Oh gosh, a lot of tars right here. Hold on, let's get rid of them. A lot of them up there jumping in the sky though. Uh, right there. Yeah, they're always like jumping in the sky, so it's hard to keep track of them. They're always like escaping and stuff. I'm almost out of water again. Man. Yeah, if we, if we got the upgrade for like 40 slots, that help out tons with uh, having extra slots for water too, but here we go. Some chicken spawning here. Let's just go down here. Let's try and explode. Oh, no, the chicken there. Cool. Let's try and explode this guy. We have 17 sea hens, and I'm pretty sure that's his favorite, right? And he... Oh, man. Yeah. So we get a such. They are spawning down here, which is good. Oh, there's even uh, one of these things. That's probably going to give me some hen hens too. Uh, nope. Rock slimes on a poke fruit. <laughs> man. I really wanted that to help me out. Oh, another sea hen right there. Perfect. Yeah, his favorite is uh, meat, and I'm pretty sure it's sea hen specifically, right? Or pacifically, because sea. <laughs> Cut that out of the video. Ah, leave it. Ah, that, was, that was a pretty good one. Hey, look at that. I got 21 sea hens. There's that number. <laughs> I think we already gave him maybe one or two sea hens before. So, let's try and... Oh. Is he going to... He's really big right now. Like, look at this. How did he not explode? What? I gave, I'm pretty sure, uh, hold on, is that not his favorite? What, what's the favorite of the, uh, angler slime? Man, where, here it is, right here. Where is it, this one? 
Yeah, it is his favorite. I guess we gave him, what, 21? Probably like 22 of them. We probably gave him one or two before. Oh, there he Okay, now he's exploding. So yeah, I think it... Oh! Was that just a water, uh... Yeah, nothing... Oh! Oh, now they spawned it? I was wondering, like, did it not uh, spawn in any angler slimes? But I guess it did. They all got shot up in the sky right there, huh? There you go. Grab some of these guys. I don't need the, uh... Hey, get rid of the rock slimes. I'll grab the angler ones, though. I'll grab them. And I guess a random poke fruit were there as well. <laughs> There's another one right there. We got 11 of them. Oh, that's what this is. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense why that's there. Yeah, I don't want to fall down that, but I guess if you do, you can always get shot back up with the water. Now the, uh... Yeah, so that that was a shortcut to the actual uh, Gordo himself. I just didn't know, you know? I definitely want to take safety first because I don't know what's down there, right? So now that we do, like in retrospect, if I play this game again, yeah, that'd be a pretty good shortcut to the angler Gordo. I need to get more chickens for the hunter Gordo because we have five hen hens and nine briar hens. I don't know what his favorite is, though. Probably. Oh, wait, no, I keep calling him briar a stony hen. We have nine stony hens. What is that over there? There's like a bunch of stuff right there glowing. Is that plorts? It is. That's a lot of plorts. Oh man, here we go. More hand hands right there. Perfect. Yeah, let me grab all these guys. That's going to help out with the uh, hunter slime over there. I don't know if there's a... Uh, I saw some chickens over here before. Yeah, I don't see any more right now. Man. Ah, another... Yeah, I don't have a... Actually, I wonder if I can fill up my uh, my water from that, that giant geyser thing over here. By the way, this is... Yeah, this is slime C. I can't suction that up, unfortunately, but... Whenever this shoots up into the air, can I suction that? Oh, I can! Oh, that's really good! Awesome! Okay, or at least we're full on water again, but... There's a ringtail slime right there, too, yeah. Uh, do I want to... I don't have the inventory... Oh, man, I can... Uh, I guess I'll put the angler plorts up at least right now. We have the actual angler slimes, which is good. I need the silky sand. And I want to get the ringtail slime, too, but I have the pomegranates and stuff in my... I just don't have the inventory space, unfortunately. There's another hen hen, like, probably a sea hen, like, nest right there, but... We're not spawning right now, unfortunately. There is another uh, silky sand thing right here, though, so that's good. We can grab some more of that. I do believe we need that for something. I don't know if it's something we're working for right now, but I guess we're always working for something. Uh, Rusha right there. Oh, man. Here we go. Rusha right there, but we can't stack them up, unfortunately. We have hen hens right here, though, so that's good. Regular old hen hens. Perfect. Now, where is... Is he down there? Kind of. He's all the way over here, so... I guess... Oh, those, those are ferals down there, so I need to be careful. I guess maybe this away is going to take us. Oh, nice. More uh, hen hens right there. Perfect. And a rooshro. Yeah, wow. Look at all these guys. Perfect. So, I don't know. How... We have 15 and then 9. Probably need like 50 of them to actually explode the guy down there, right? Oh, yeah. I think he's down. Like down there or something. It's hard to tell. Looks like a silky sand thing. thing. Uh, silky sand thing over there, though. Oh, whoa. More uh, hen hens over here, though, so that's good. Oh, and by the way, are we near? I don't think we are, but someone said there was a waterfall somewhere, and someone said to look behind the waterfall, so... If, if I get to that area again, I definitely want to look behind the waterfall. See if there's something hidden back there. Oh, man, more silky sand. Perfect. Let's grab that. We're at the 7, 8 right now. Not bad. Now, is this going to take us to the actual Hunter Gordo? It is, and he was camouflaged there for a second, guys. Cool. Oh, look at that. The chickens that we had here last time are still here. <laughs> Grab the one right there. There's another one right there. Did I get them? I don't know if I did. Oh, look at that. We have 21 hen hens. Again, there's that number. <laughs> we can give them 30 uh, chickens right now, which is good. I don't know if that... I'm pretty sure we need 50 to actually explode them, right? But it seems like there's a... Yeah, he still hasn't exploded. But at least over here, we have a lot of uh, hen hen, like, nests, I guess you can call them, right? So they should spawn over here very frequently. Oh, wait, I know. Yeah, I know where we're at. Yeah. There's a lot of tars here randomly. But are there going to be hen hens over here? Oh yeah, there are. Okay, there's one right there. So we gave them, what, 30 chickens? We need to get like 20 more chickens to actually explode them now, right? Golly. Unless, hold on. What was the hunter slime's favorite, though? I bet it's like briar hen or something like that that we don't have, right? I bet that's the bat slime, the baddie slime or something like that, right? Oh. And then there's another one there. And then another one over here. So there's like there's three, four slimes, five slimes that we don't know about. Apparently, golly, his favorite is actually the Rooshro, so I probably shouldn't have passed up those Rooshros we had earlier, man. All right, well, and by the way, my like sick voice, I can't do like, like high pitched voice while I'm like sounding all nasty. So <laughs> that's kind of funny there. Or I guess, yeah, you know what? Because we have to teleport back home, we can grab some from our uh, farm. Yeah, some chickens right here. Yeah, that'll help out too. But I'm pretty sure we have some Rooshros at our, our farm as well. Some uh, regular old hen hens we can grab too. We have 13 right now. Yeah, 
We don't need that many. And, and yeah, I could drop off some of the stuff such as the uh, pomegranate as well as the silky. Oh, whoops. That's the wrong thing. Yeah, I'm not I'm not used to this new teleporter that we set up, you guys, by the way. Oh, yeah, there's jelly. I guess I can grab that. Yeah, we need jelly stone for something. I think I saw a minute ago. I don't know if it was on camera, off camera. Well, oh, 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 it's going flying. Oh, we grabbed it, though, because I aimed up. What's well, orbiting him around? There you go. We got it. it was orbiting around my gun there for a second. But uh, is there anything else around here? Though? There's a whole area down here. Anything else? Like, oh, look at that. It was like super hidden. You got, I bet it's like this stuff or maybe some corals or something. What is that going to be? A med station rapidly drains your energy to restore health. That could be pretty good for an emergency situation, right? I don't know where I'd put it, though, but uh, there. Okay, cool. Oh, man, we got another uh, stony. I, 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 I guess I'll just go home. Yeah, let's just go home. Drop off the jelly stone, the pomegranate, the silky sand. I don't know what we're going to do with the angler signs right now. Might want to wait until we have that second area unlocked with the actual water. Maybe do they need actual like puddle area or are they find in the regular corral? I don't know. Yeah, now we're back here. Yeah, let's use this and let's go and take us back to the conservatory. That's good. There you go. Cool. So now we're here. Not quite at the conservatory, just a little bit outside of it, but at least we're back here, right? So that's good. These guys are... Some of them are hungry, but there is an auto feeder here. Should have been... Uh... Oh, I guess it has been dispensing it. It's down to one. Yeah, I had like 13 in there just a minute ago, but... So we can grab some more hen hens here. Just regular old hen hen. Maybe some stone hen. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's drop off some... Uh... I guess I'll put the pomegranate up inside the silo for right now, at least. So that's a fruit. Yeah, we don't have any fruit up in store, so that's going to be our first fruit, so that's good. Uh, then we have angler. I don't know, should I make the angler tabby? All right, well, then again, they both eat meat, so it's not really a, taking advantage of a, being like a diverse like food thing. <laughs> food type, I guess you could say. <laughs> but uh, let's see if we get any closer to anything there with a tabby. Yeah, we still need six tabby plus. Yeah, I didn't get, grab any actual angler, of course. I, I threw them out, unfortunately, but that is what we need for the tank booster to get us 40 slots instead of 30, so I don't know. Maybe here in just a bit. If I combine these guys with, I don't know, maybe like Batty, but I don't know what the Bat guy even, oh yeah, probably, yeah, he eats fruit, because he likes the pomegranate, right? Yeah, but uh, I kind of want to empty out my inventory. I don't know. I don't know where I should put these guys, honestly, but they do like meat, so keeping them over here is probably a good idea, because we have so many chickens, right? Man, I just don't know. L let me know in the comments down below, what should I make a Largo out of using the Angler Slime? Just because I, I don't really know what to combine it with, you know? And it can't be something like a tabby slime, you know, something that already eats meat. Definitely want to take advantage of the uh, different food types and different food preferences, I guess you could say, right? And by the way, we only have one sea hen here. There you go. And we have a rooshro. We have an elder there, another elder here. Elder hen, elder rooshro. Yeah, this should be, you know, we have 23 stony hens, yeah. I guess I'll drop three. There you go, three, because we have three rooshros. That should be good uh, to explode this guy, but this is going to take us back. Yep, all the way back to... The Starlight Shrine. Cool. So let me just head back to where that go. Actually, I think I know where to go. Oh, another. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Right there. Yes, he ate. And we got like 200 gold or something. There he is again. Give him a He's eating again. Hold on. This is like the perfect scenario, you guys. We have plenty of meat in our inventory. No, we do Oh, man. He disappeared like right when I shot that hen hen at him. Is there another dime here? Nah, I guess I grab that another hen hen bag, right? And yeah, fill up on our, uh, our our water tank right there too. Cool. All right, so that, that, at least that made up for the lucky slime, like missing out on lucky slime a couple times back there, right? So that's cool. But like I said, let me just head back to that uh, hunter Gordo wing. Hopefully, explode him in here in just a sec. All right, I think yeah, here he's right here. Cool. So let's give him the elder ones. There you go. I don't know if the elder Rustro still counts as like a double or whatever, like his favorite. But, uh, there you go, a bunch of stony hens. I guess any extras we have left over, we could wait till nighttime to give to the- Golly, look at all he's eating! If we even have any left- There we go, to the ringtail uh, Gordo, right? Because we're still trying to explode him. Yeah, we have a bunch of, uh, Hunter. And what is that? Oh, it's one of those, like... Yeah, it's just poker fruit right there. Man, <laughs> I thought we'd get something better out of that. Alright, well, at least we have a cool little shortcut over here, but... Is it even, like, where does it actually go again, right? I forget. Is it, is it even useful, though? I don't know. Kind of, yeah, and there's like C hen right there, too. Yeah, it goes to like an underground cave, I think, over here. Oh man, there's a Rushro, but I don't think we really need it. Yeah, it goes to this underground cave, yeah. Was there anything actually in here? Well, there's phosphorus slimes. No baddie slimes in here, though. Carrots and cuberries and. Is that a water source? Yeah, I think it is. I'm like, that's cool and all, but. And then, yeah, there's like this thing, right? I don't think they. Yeah, this is still like clogged up, so. Yeah, it doesn't actually lead anywhere just yet. Man. All right, well, I guess we'll just leave. Uh, maybe I'll keep a few hunter slimes in my inventory to give a uh, rock ports to and then get more of them because we have a we have a rock hunter 
Gordos, or Largos. Man, I even took a second to think about it. I still call them a wrong thing. But we do, we do have Rock Hunter Largos at home, so maybe I can get a couple more by uh, keeping these guys. But these are the ones I guess maybe I'll, I'll keep like four. Yeah, I think we have like five or six RA at home, so don't want to get too many, right? 